Hello and welcome to another video. This video is about the custom made desk that I've been building over the last couple of months. Um, I've, I've had a full picture build log that's been going on as well and you guys can check that out in the link below. So what's been happening is just down here we've got some set of drawers that everything's been made from, made from scratch. So if we, this will be the filing drawer. So got the files down there. So everything slides along with a bit of metal aluminium rod. Um, we've got two drawers as well. And this will be for all fully water cooled, so we've got four holes and I also have the bits power temp the grills that'll go across the front as well. Um, just in the front of here we'll be having the Alpha Cool Nexus uh, monster radiator, the four, uh, four, what is it, 480 so I've got one in there and one in the back as well so that'll be just in a single loop cooling everything um, just in the middle here we've got the cutout for the PCI brackets that I've done and I've just routed a little edge along here where uh, the brackets will sit in and then I was getting a wedge to stick in the in between to fill the gap up to um, stop the cards from moving around and whatnot. Then we've got the IO shield here, or IO shield hole rather, that the IO shield um, will be going in. Here we have the power supply hole. This is where I'll be slotting in the power supply just at the back with them um, being mounted on by a metal template that I've made. And here we have a rebate uh, for which the fans will be sitting in. Uh, and on the outside here, we'll be having the, uh, the Bits Power 240 grill as well, covering everything. And um, what I want to do now is, so yeah, well, that's basically it. So that, that's what the desk is pretty much finally going to be, just needs a stain and that's about it. And now I'll just get everything in, um, roughly, and show you how everything will be going. Yeah right, so here is the build, here's what it will be mainly looking like. Um, yeah, so on the left, as you can see, we've got the bit of our uh, radiator grill, followed by the Alpha Cool 480 monsters. Uh, I've just got two of those in there. I'm not too sure on what fans I'll be using yet. I'm hoping to get uh, 16 odd uh, Noctua fans. Um, so yeah, it's a bit expensive, but hey, you know, I could you know kill the whole loop with you know one uh, monster, but I had I had to you know fill the space up, so I just got two instead. Yeah, so anyway, moving on, here is the, uh, I, just, I just made a little cutout uh, with two bits of power grills. Um, this is for basically incidental airflow, uh, so that the radiator air can flow through that little hole. Um, I will try to get some fans if they are, if there's some slim enough, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, so, um, but in the top right hand corner, uh, I'll be having some fans there, so hopefully it gets enough air uh, from that left bit there. Here we have the reservoirs, and I'd like to say thank you very much to Performance PCS for sponsoring me those, they really helped me out there, and uh, very, very much appreciated. As well, uh, yeah, so those are my pumps. Coolants, uh, tops, uh, using MCP355s. Here we have uh, the rest of the, the, main, the main guts of it, the Gigabyte Z77X UP7. Um, and here is the PCI bracket that I made. Uh, originally, I just had the, got the jigsaw out and made little rectangles to go on the gaps, but uh, when I was doing it, some of them snapped out, so I said, you know, fuck it. I'll just uh, cut it out and chop, a, chop that bracket out of an old case and uh, wedge it in. Um, yeah, so this is the G4, GeForce GTX 680. Uh, it's a for the win, uh, full gigabyte card. I'll be getting another one at some, some point. Uh, as I'll be getting a Dell U3011. Um, here we have the Gigabyte. Oh, so I already said that one. <laughs> There's the uh, Corsair DOMS, uh, 1866 MHz, uh, 8 gig sticks each, followed by the 3770K with a piece of shit on top of it that will be replaced by the uh, EK Supreme HF, uh, what one is it, the Plexi one, I think, are we getting? Um, and the, oh yeah, and the EVG cards will be. Um, having the uh, EK ASIL Plus uh, Plexi, so half and half, um, with the CSQ design. Would have been good to have the Plexi ones, but you know, nothing you can do about it. 
thought I'd just you know get the nicest one I could. And yeah, so just in the back there we've got the IO shield. Uh, just you know, a nice little cutout. I was going to get the uh, UP7 um, water block itself for the North Bridge, if that's what it's called these days. Um, but just just a bit too ugly, uh, the XSPC one. If AK got one, then sure, you know, I'd go ahead and grab it. But unfortunately, you know, you don't really want to cross, um, have two cross-breeded blocks. Um, here is my Corsair AX760, which unfortunately none of the cables that were provided with it I'll actually be using because every single thing will be uh, custom length. Uh, here are my Samsungs, uh, so 256 on the left, and those two other ones are 128s, which I'll be using a RAID, and that left one is all my Steam games, um, just for ease. Yeah, yeah so I've, I've got a network, so. Um, all my media, movie, movies, and music are on there. Here is the Blu-ray drive, uh, just in its slot, looking nice. And just in the bottom there, I'll be having a fan controller, probably a size Kazoo uh, Master Pro. But <coughs> I'll look into it further when I can. <coughs> Goodness me. Um, the glass is dark grey tint, um, and as well as the top as well. Just on the left, we'll probably have the power, re power reset, um, LEDs. Uh, switch on and off because just in the front there I'll be getting the NZXT uh, 2 meter kit uh, in white so give the build a nice um, white glow um, because as the, the glass is dark you know it'll have a nice soft glow and um, illuminate everything else that's in the build I might have them might have the LEDs around the sides and the back as well but I'll, I'll look into it uh, later and see how it all looks yeah that's basically uh, how it is and uh, also not too sure how I'll have the reservoir and pumps configured. I was going to have it as reservoir in, going to the pump, outlet to the next pump, and the outlet into that reservoir to then go around to the uh, the graphics cards and whatnot. And after that, but a uh, member on a forum said that's no, not too good for pressure. So he probably knows better than I do. And I think that I'll just uh, just um, yeah. I'll get around to it later and see. Yeah, so in the back here I've got the uh, power supply template that I made. Um, I had it universal so you can flip it either way and we'll be able to screw in. But just on the two flaps on the left is uh, where I'll be uh, drilling some holes to screw into the disc itself. Just there and there. And moving on here is the O shield and here is the PCO bracket. Yeah, everything uh, fits in well, and I'm very happy with how everything is looking. So yeah, that's basically it, uh, to be honest. Not really much else to say at the moment. Yeah, I'll just give you a good look around and see what's going on. Now, just on the side there, as you can see, there is that side rail. I uh, will be uh, putting a back rail. Uh, on as well, that will be the exact same height um, just for aesthetics and stability <coughs> and on the back here we're having a back ledge um, that the Dell U3011 that I'll be getting will be sitting on um, and also be able to hide any you know, cable mess or muck that's going on yeah so that is basically it and I think that will uh, conclude this video and I will try to uh, get one out in the next uh, two three weeks and uh, let you know how I'm getting, getting on but yeah check out the build log and yeah thank you very much